question of the day. What do you do when your wife comes home from the meat department at the grocery store with a bargain that she just could not resist? Well, there's a few options, but I'm pretty sure the smoker's going to play a major role in what happens. And here is that fantastic bargain, an enormous whole pig leg. And to give you a better idea of the true size of this thing, here it is compared to a fully grown elephant. Okay, maybe not quite that big, but at 22 pounds, this thing's pretty heavy. First things first, we're going to need to do some prep work. And that's mainly going to revolve around taking off the skin and the fat because we won't be using either of them. The skin and the fat layer on this particular full leg aren't really thick enough to save and make crackling with, which would have been nice. So it will get discarded, but it does need to be trimmed first. Just for a little bit of context, we're currently about 10 o'clock in the morning. This is going to be cooking for, I'm estimating anywhere between 9 and 11 hours. But we're not cooking it to eat today. We will probably have our first meal tomorrow. So I'm not too worried about uh, times as far as the cook is concerned. We're going to be going straight for temperatures. So once we've done the uh, trimming, taking the skin and the fat off, we're just going to hit it with uh, a nice homemade rub. This is a rub that we use for a lot of our uh, smoking jobs, mainly pork and chicken. We do use something different for brisket, but this is a great all-purpose rub if you want to use it for something like this, or perhaps ribs. If you'd like to give this rub a try, you can find the recipe for it down in the description box. A couple of little spots just need touching up and then we're done with the rub. Into the smoker we go. We're cooking at 260 degrees for this particular cook and we're going to be leaving that temperature set for the entire time. We are now about uh, two hours into the cook. I'm gonna take a look, see that the bark is starting to form nicely. And at this point, we're going to give the uh, pork leg a spritz. The spritz I'm using is just straight apple juice. Don't really need anything more complicated than that. And we'll repeat the process probably every two hours. As I mentioned before, we're not uh, worrying about time as far as this cook is concerned. We're going to temperature. So we're pulling the pork leg off when it hits 165 degrees, which in case you're interested, was about seven hours. Before the foil goes on for the last stage of the cook, we're adding a couple of things to the pan, a little bit of maple syrup and the rest of the apple juice that we were using for our spritz. Now it's just a matter of getting the foil over the top of the pan and sealing it down to the edges as best you can. You're never gonna get a tight seal here and that's not really a problem. You just wanna keep as much of the heat and moisture in as we can. Once the wrapping is all done, now we're just going to put the pan back on the smoker to complete the last stage of the cooking. And again, we're not worried about how long this is gonna take. We're going strictly for temperature and we want to get this up to an internal temperature of anywhere between 202 and 204 degrees. At that point, we're pretty much done cooking. And this is how we look when we've reached that target temperature. Total time, or again, anybody that's interested, was about 10 hours of cooking time and about 45 minutes resting time. As you can probably tell, we've now come inside for the final stage of this cook, and that's to get all that lovely pork pork off of those bones. 
I'm going to do a nice uh, fast forward through this stage because it's not super interesting to watch but we will be able to see the final result once we've got uh, all of the pork separated from the bones and stacked into our pans. After all that work and all that time, what did we end up with? Well, here it is, two pans of delicious pulled pork with a total weight of about 12 pounds. So the first meal we actually made with some of that delicious pulled pork were in Canada. So of course, pulled pork poutine. And happily, there will be many more meals to come. Yummy.